six, seven, Okay, so let's just go through the wiring and configuration of this thing so we can uh, figure it out. It's pretty simple really. You have the IR LED right over here, right? Communicates uh, through pin 3 of the Arduino um, through a 100 ohm resistor right over here. Okay, that's uh, pretty straightforward. Then for receiving, you have as an IR receiver. I'll put the name of it in the description of the of the file. Three legs, right? So signal, five uh, volts, and ground. Uh, connected to pin 11 of the Arduino right over here. Okay, And then this yellow LED just indicates a command goes out, so I'll, uh, I'll clearly see it. Uh, so let's uh, just call it command and see. One. One. Okay, you see that, right? So that's basically just an indication that the command was accepted, and that's about it. Okay, so let's review the configuration on the computer side, what you see in front of you right now. This is Vox Commando application. You can download it uh, from uh, Vox Commando online. Uh, it's free for the first 40 commands that you run. Afterwards, you're going to ha either have to restart it using the full restart button or uh, purchase license for it. Uh, the configuration, pretty basic really. It comes in with a bunch of configuration or commands on its own. I ignored these. I created a new group called Remote Control. I put the, the buttons that I want to imitate from my remote control. Let's say channel 1 for a second. The phrase is the name 1 when I say that uh, the software runs a macro or a Python script in this case. The Python script is located over here and it's called Serial Commands by Arduino Python. This script defines a, uh, a function called Blink LED. I just call it like that. The name doesn't really matter. And it sends an ASCII code of 1 and then the Arduino over serial reads it and uh, and does an action. Okay, let's execute a couple of commands and see how it works. So I'll enable listening for Vox Commando on the green button here, and then I say five five. Okay, and you can see this the commands over here are get updated. So let's try another one two six. And every time that I run a command, you see the, the string, no, sorry, the function getting called, the Python script getting called, and then the function gets called with the right ASCII number. Okay, 6, 2, whatever it is. And then the information gets sent to serial. Let's go over the Python script right here. So Python script uh, basically defines a function called blink LED, receives a string, or an ASCII, or whatever it is string in this case and writes to serial over COM3, which is my Arduino, uh, writes to Sasuke. That's about it. Okay. Then on the Arduino side, we have a simple sketch that uses the IR remote library. Also, you can download it for free. I put a link on it under the YouTube page. It has a list of commands. These are the IR codes to operate my remote control. I'll show you how to decrypt your remote control in a few minutes. And then reads over serial and when a command is received be it you know one two three until zero it sends in this case an NEC protocol command called one with a 32-bit encryption or 32-bit uh, resolution okay there are some other commands as well like power info back and stuff and the, the function on the library essentially blinks the IR LED okay then uh, when you configure your own IR protocol, in case you're not one of the configured protocol, you go into the H file over here, and you can see the defi definitions over here. You have the header, the space, one uh, length, and then one space, zero space, and then repeat space. These are the protocol information. This is the protocol information you get when decrypting the remote. I'll show you how to do it in a few minutes. Okay. 
So let's uh, run a couple of commands and uh, and see how it works. Six power three. Okay, so assuming you get a good mic, that's going to be pretty pretty damn reliable. Let's do the receiving side, how to decrypt your remote control IR protocol. So this is the receiver test. I also included it on my YouTube page. I'm compiling it, uploading it right now to the Arduino. It should be finished in a second. And then I open the sphere monitor, right? And I aim my remote control over to the IR receiver over here. I press on one of the buttons and some data gets printed as soon as I get the baud rate correctly. Let's try again. There we are. I'm doing a few buttons. You can see every time I click a button, the data shown on the screen. The, the way to read this data is that this is the command. It's a 32-bit command in this case, right? You can see it over here. And then the spacing and, and uh, encoding of the IR blink, you can see it on the row side on the bottom, right? So these are the length of spaces you need to configure in the H file if it's a known encoding format for, uh, for the library. Okay, so you'd use these, you configure the H file, and you send the commands if your remote is not one of the known remotes. That's about it. Okay, guys, thanks for listening, and uh, please post any questions you have on the bottom, and I'll uh, be happy to try and answer them.